Yeah, if you look at the United States Senate today and you look at the Repu- the women in the United States Senate, there is not a single pro-life woman in the United States Senate today that I'm aware of. That Correct me if I'm wrong on that, but I don't believe well, there is. not that I'm aware of. No, I, mean, I, I guess what I would say is people are fairly quiet about it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. They are. Well, and that and that's why I, I, I'm so excited that you have someone who's— you know, you're not you're not walking away from it. you. You know, you tout the fact that you were endorsed by pro-life organizations and that, uh, you know, it, it's not something you're sort of quietly saying, yeah, I'm pro-life, but I don't want anybody to know about it. it you are. And you're willing to stand up and say that. And, and candidly, uh, if you look at, at the history of the United States Senate and the women in the United States Senate, there haven't been too many. I mean, I can think of Elizabeth Dole as really being the only one who've been out there who's been who've been uh, who've been forceful on that and that's that's an important voice to be heard not just in California but across the country for women to hear not just uh you know not just in the political circles well and you know you were talking about Barbara Boxer before who is absolutely one of the worst senators in the US Senate she her views are so extreme and by the way Tom Campbell shares these views that mm-hmm. I'm about to uh describe to your listening audience she believes American taxpayers should not only pay for abortion. She believes American taxpayers should pay for partial birth abortion. Yeah, I, I look, I battled her on the floor on that issue. Yeah, I know. This is a woman who has extreme views on this subject. And so the reality is that this is a good conversation to have because the vast majority of Californians, the majority of Americans, do not share Barbara Boxer's extreme views either. Mm-hmm. And those extreme views on abortion extend to everything from card check to the environment to cap and trade. I mean, you name it, Barbara Boxer is on the far left of every argument. Absolutely. And and most of the polls have you basically running neck and neck with her uh, in, in a general election matchup at this point, right? Well, they do. And, you know, those polls, we got a long way to go for the general right. election. I'm really pleased with our momentum in the primary. And, and the primary is when? The primary is June 8th. I hope all your uh, listeners will, you know, check out the race. Go on our website, which is www.carly for ca, carly for california.com. We have donors and volunteers from all 50 states. I'm very proud of that. Uh, and we would really uh, appreciate uh, the support of your listeners as well. Barbara Boxer has got to be beat. Amen. And as you and Sarah Palin and others have said, I am the only conservative who can beat her. Well, uh, that's true. And I, I have to ask you about this, uh, this, this rage that is going on right now across America about what Barack Obama is doing and trying to politicize the Arizona law. How is that playing out in California? Obviously, you have Los Angeles who says they're going to boycott uh, Arizona, and now Arizona saying they're going to fight back. How is this all playing in, in your race and in California generally? Well, as you can imagine, it is a very uh, emotional issue in California. And, you know, the same city council that brought you were going to boycott Arizona is the same city council that now has almost, together with uh, unions, has almost brought that city to the brink of bankruptcy. Los Angeles looks a whole lot like Greece right now. Uh, I am very proud to have received the endorsement of many Hispanic groups. And I think it is outrageous that the president of the United States and the president of Mexico stand in the Rose Garden and talk about the law in Arizona when the facts are very clear. The federal government needs to do its job, and its job is to secure the border. And the federal government is not doing its job. Barbara Boxer is standing up and challenging the constitutionality of the law. People are vilifying the folks, good folks in Arizona. We must secure the border. It is the federal government's job to secure the border. We cannot let the Democrats continue to change the subject. When President Obama says he needs comprehensive immigration reform, it is the crassest, most cynical kind of politics. He does not need a single piece of legislation to do his job and secure the border. Uh, <clears throat> here, here. I agree with you 100 percent. And uh, is is this a uh, you know, is this an issue that's um, that's dividing in the Republican primary? I mean, is 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 Cam- where's Campbell on this and where's where's DeVore? Where, where are you guys you know divided on this one? It actually is not an issue that uh, divides uh, the Republican primary. Campbell is in a very different place on this issue now than he was many years ago. Uh-huh. 
Uh, Campbell is trying to create, recreate himself as a fiscal conservative to try and win this. You mentioned on your show he's run for statewide office before. He's never won a statewide office. He's run. Mm -hmm. This is his fourth time, but he's never won. And uh, he is trying to recreate himself as um, someone who agrees with Chuck DeVore and I on abortion. But gotcha. his posture in previous elections uh, has been quite different. And of one, uh, yeah, 10 seconds, uh, just so everybody knows. I mean, you, you were uh, Prop 8, um, the marriage issue. You, got, you supported marriage, correct? I do. I believe marriage is between a man and a woman. And I have some, I'm delighted to have the support of so many people in California who help the people of California stand up strong and vote for traditional marriage. There you go.